So you need the best camera for your videos in the mid of 2022, but you feel lost. You don't know which one to choose. Some cameras are more expensive, some cheaper. What features do I really need? And is it worth paying so much money for a camera? Today, I'm going to show you some cameras that are perfect for YouTube, or if you just want to start off your career as a content creator. My name is Otto Weiner. This is the mobile vlog and let's go. The first camera on the list has a huge potential to become the camera in your arsenal. This is the Sony ZV-E10. This series of Sony cameras has already established itself as one of the best cameras for YouTubers, and the new model has lots of new features. So what's the catch? See, when you start a channel, probably the best thing to do is to grab your phone and start shooting on the phone, but having low-budget cameras on the market I would think twice because we get some advantages here. For example, a rotating screen. You can't do this on your phone. You have to film yourself blindly or film yourself on the front facing camera. And in this case, two disadvantages pop up at once. The quality of the front facing camera is worse and your eyes are always looking somewhere sideways and not into the camera. But here, you can adjust the composition of the shot without sacrificing the quality. There's also a good built-in microphone that that is, sometimes you can record directly into the camera. The camera also shoots in 4K. It can film at 100 frames per second HD. And the video you're watching right now was also shot on a Sony camera, but this is a cinema camera that is five times more expensive than this tiny ZV-E10. And in fact, you don't need a cinema camera for these talking head videos. We just have a production team, so we film the talking head videos on it as well. But if I had to start a channel, I would grab such a small one because it's enough. Autofocus is also great here. Sony cameras are famous for its autofocus systems. You can switch lenses on this camera and therefore you can change the aperture, optical zoom. Basically, you get all the basic features of professional cameras, but in a more compressed format. You can actually buy a lens with an f2.8 aperture and get a natural background blur, which many YouTubers strive for, not this artificial type of cinematic mode in the new iPhone. Yes, sometimes it lacks flexibility that you have in more professional cameras. You can't shoot a movie on it, but it has everything you need for a video vlog. And this is definitely better than shooting on a smartphone. So pay attention to the Sony ZV-E10. That's such a camera. Shooting is a significant part of the video production process, but what really grabs viewers' attention is good editing. Movavi Video Editor Plus and Video Converter Premium that are available on the Movavi secret sale with a crazy 50% discount will give you all the tools you might need to make stunning content without wasting your time on learning. Movavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save your time. Its interface is easy to master, all the tools and presets are there to help you get many operations done in a few clicks. The app doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, and Movavi Video Converter Premium that goes in the same bundle will make things even easier. It will allow you to convert raw footage for faster editing or even upscale your old videos for re-uploading. The lifetime versions of Movavi Video Editor Plus and Video Converter Premium are available at 50% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. The next camera is similar to the ZV-E10, but it's better in its own way. And it's also suitable for those who make talking head videos and you add some b-roll footage in post. So here is the Canon M50 Mark I and Mark II. This camera has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which will give gorgeous colors and very fast autofocus. Honestly, it's really hard to pick which one is better, M50 or ZV-E10, but it's very good anyway. In most cases, you will not use manual focus. That's how good this autofocus system is. Especially when you're filming yourself, autofocus gets really handy because the camera has the eye and face detection tool. Even without color correction, the colors look amazing, especially skin tones. So if you're worried about how you will look in the shot, 
don't worry, with this camera you will look more attractive than in real life. The camera has a flip screen and the ability to focus by touching the screen. There is an external mic input, which is crucial for talking head videos. The built-in mic is not so good. You will definitely have to spend some money on a better mic. The camera shoots in full HD up to 60 frames per second. You can boost it up to 120 frames per second, but only in 720p. And yes, you can film in 4K, but I'm not impressed by the quality. Why, would you ask? Well because when you shoot in 4K on this camera, there is a noticeable image crop. You kind of get the 4K mode, but I would not use it in my videos. Mark II is almost the same as Mark I, but with a faster autofocus and the HDMI out port. So you can use it as a webcam or for your streams. The battery will last you two to three hours, which is not much. If you're making talking head videos, just buy the adapter, connect it to power, and never worry about your battery life. There is another budget camera from Canon, the M6 Mark II. This camera can be used not only for a video blog, but also for any other type of content you need to produce. Really, this is one of the best cameras for indie filmmaking, where you don't have time to take a lot of gear with you, you need a compact and high quality solution. There is also a good autofocus system, 4K up to 30 frames per second, and if you want to enable the built-in video stabilization, the camera creates a better crop compared to the Sony ZV-E10. Sony just heavily zooms in the image when the active stabilization is turned on. So the M6 is better in this and it's useful, for example, for vlogs. You need a steady wide angle shot, turn this mode on and enjoy. The overall video quality of this camera is also very good. The image is slightly softer than the ZV-E10. This is due to the fact that the camera does not read every pixel from the sensor, but someone likes it more. You know, such a nice soft image is more to the liking of many than something ultra sharp. And of course, Canon's color science is not going anywhere. It's also excellent without any color correction applied. This is another camera that will perfectly suit most aspiring YouTubers or aspiring content creators. Moving on to the next decent camera, Fujifilm XS10. This camera is more specific with its own features. I would say not for everyone, but this does not make it worse than its competitors. And in some ways, it's even even better. For example, this camera has a built-in sensor stabilization. The ZV-E10 and M6 don't have that, so it's a big upside for this camera. In other words, here you'll get a smoother video without any crop at all. This is obviously very cool for vlogs and action content. Also, the kit lens here is 15 to 45 millimeters, that is, you will get both the wide angle and something closer to a telephoto lens. The biggest disadvantage of this camera for me is out of focus. It is much worse than previous cameras and I think this is an extremely important feature for vloggers. Believe me, I've been there. It's very exhausting when you need to adjust this focus ring alone and if you missed it, you have to refilm the shot, pain and time spent. Technically, you can set the autofocus speed to the max and it will work, but in comparison, it loses to past competitors. In general, the XS10 is worth paying attention to, but there are nuances. It's up to you to decide what is more suitable and what you're willing to sacrifice. So these four budget cameras look solid in the mid of 2022, but I want to show you two more cameras that will blow your mind, although they're not for everyone. The number one bonus camera camera is great for content creators who want to have a long battery life, and this is the Sony Alpha 6600. This is one of the best mirrorless cameras from Sony, which has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor and a built-in stabilizer, which allows you to create better shots in action. It survives harsh weather conditions thanks to its design, it feels very solid, and you feel confident while holding this camera. The camera has a flip screen, which is actually one of the reasons why why this camera is so helpful for shooting vlogs. It's very compact to travel with and this is the Sony camera after all. The autofocus system is fantastic in this camera both the photo and the video mode. There's the face and eye tracking tool, which comes in handy while filming yourself. The camera shoots 4K video up to 30 frames per second, and the overall quality is great. Colors are very well balanced. The benefits that you get from this camera, great battery life, 
the built-in stabilizer and the fast autofocus system. The camera sits somewhere between a beginner's camera and a professional camera, so if you've been using an entry-level camera and you're thinking about upgrade, the Sony a6600 might be a great option for you. But let's say you're not chasing the best video quality possible. Your main priority is portability and silky smooth shots. In this case, take a look at the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Over a year, I've been using the first version of this camera and I would say this is a magical device. The one who came up with the idea to mount a drone's camera to a stick is genius. This camera can serve you as a secondary camera for shots where you can't use your main camera but actually but actually the DJI Osmo might serve as the main camera for some of you. It has an excellent image quality and you will get silky smooth shots thanks to the gimbal on this device. The weight is only 170 grams and will easily fit in your pocket. It has the CMOS 64 megapixel sensor, but you should keep in mind that you will not get an optical zoom with this camera. It's locked and has an f1.8 aperture. The camera shoots in 4K up to 60 frames per second in normal mode and up to 240 and 480 frames per second in a slow motion mode, but only in Full HD. Autofocus can track objects and faces easily. If you want to get this camera, Camera, I recommend checking out the Creator Combo Kit. It includes the handle, the lens that you can mount on the camera, increasing the viewing angle from 93 degrees to 104 degrees. And there is also the wireless microphone with the transmitter. Attach it to your jacket and get a clean audio. All that makes the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 a great solution for those who don't chase the best quality possible but want to get portability and smooth shots. Also, check out these videos if you want to learn more about the content creation process, smash the like button if you like the video and see you in the next one.